the Iraqi economy has enormous potential and natural resources, through which it can become a major player in the Middle East. The economy of this large oil country also enjoys significant investments in the oil sector. In order to exploit natural resources and build a sound economic structure, Iraq has built giant projects in order to achieve sustainable growth in the medium term. In this video, we show you the largest current and future projects in Iraq. But first, do not forget to share the video and subscribe to the channel. This video contest will be the best comment in this video will win $10. Let's begin. It is the first comprehensive natural gas development project in the Iraqi Ministry of Petroleum Oil Field. Construction of a crude oil central processing plant project has begun in nine governorates in Iraq. After the project is completed, it will improve the efficiency of Iraqi oil fields. The contract value for the project is $410 million. The project is located in the city of Al Mutana, Maison Governorate, Iraq. The main contents of the project include the design, procurement, and construction of 10 sets of equipment for major operations, public works, warehousing, transportation, and related auxiliary systems in the plant area. The total duration of the project is 54 months. The project cost of the Iraqi Maison refinery and chemical plant is $880 million. Iran and Iraq signed an agreement to build a 32-kilometer railway. It extends from Shalamche in Iran to Basra in Iraq. The first part of the line will be built in Iraq, and the land will be handed over for construction. Before starting the construction of the line itself, the land must be surveyed, including the removal of land mines. Once completed, the Iraqi side of the line will be built by Iranian engineers. The estimated cost of the project is 200 million US dollars. Construction is expected to take two years. This project is the first Chinese construction infrastructure project after its return to Iraq. The project is located in the city of Nasiriya, the capital of the Iraqi province of Zukar. The project content mainly includes the new main passenger building, VIP terminal building, air management building, cargo building, hotel, administrative office building, fire rescue station, auxiliary facilities, new construction and airport reconstruction, connecting lines, updating runways, aprons, etc. The planned annual flow of the project is 750,000 passengers. After its completion, it will become an aviation center in southwestern Iraq. Of great importance is improving regional traffic in southwest Iraq, accelerating regional development, and enhancing the regional investment environment. As the world prepares to achieve net zero emissions by 2050, Iraq has taken initial steps to restructure its economy and get rid of its dependence on fossil fuels. Iraq is the second largest producer of OPEC. Iraq plans to invest $3 billion annually to replace liquid burning power plants with natural gas. Iraq plans to eliminate natural gas flaring by 2022. This is total second gigawatt project in Iraq. Total Energy is building a 1 gigawatt solar farm in the Basra region of southern Iraq. The deal will also result in significant investments in new natural gas and seawater processing networks. With a total value of 10 billion US dollars. Iraq has approved the Ministry of Electricity's plan to build a 7.5 gigawatt solar power project in Iraq. Iraq also states that by 2025, it will award 10 to 12 gigawatts of solar power projects in an effort to generate up to 25% of its electricity demand from solar power. Iraq also worked on building the first solar power plant with a capacity of 2 gigabytes and feeding 2021. Since the Gulf War in 2003, Iraq suffers from a shortage of electricity. Many consider the lack of electricity to be an important root cause of political instability in Iraq. Iraq is negotiating with Russia, 
France and the United States to discuss the possibility of building three civilian nuclear reactors. The South Korean company, Daewoo Engineering, will implement the first phase of the project, which will include five berths and a container yard. The project is expected to take four years. It will be able to handle three million containers each year after its completion. Daewoo will also create a new, deeper channel for the port. The port's plan calls for a deep water channel to be built to allow the largest container ship to use the port. The project is expected to cost more than $3 billion. This line will be at least 120 kilometers long. The project will include the reconstruction of the Mosul station, which was badly damaged. This railway also forms the Turkish-Syrian border. The town of Karkamish is about 330 kilometers away on the right bank of the Euphrates and Nospin rivers. It is among the important projects that will add storage capacity to the storage system in Iraq. Up to 3 billion cubic meters, in addition to providing electrical energy and employing many labors. It is also a safe addition to protect Baghdad from floods. Iraq has begun implementing the Al Rafael project, the new administrative capital, with an area of 106,000 acres. This project will be implemented in four phases. The first phase includes the construction of complexes, residential, educational, commercial, medical, service and recreational. It is implemented on an area of 16,000 acres, contributing to the provision of 75,000 housing units. The second phase of the project will include launching industrial and logistical services projects adjacent to the airport. The third stage is the introduction of environmentally friendly agricultural and food projects. The fourth phase of the project in the area north of the airport land. It is the name of an Arab cooperation project that includes Jordan, Iraq and Egypt and provides a great opportunity to build common economic interests between the three countries. This project will bring great benefits to Iraq, as there will be great economic cooperation and joint industrial cities. Iraqi trade can find markets in Jordan, Egypt and Saudi Arabia if the kingdom joins this project. It is an integrated residential city located in the heart of the region's capital at a cost of $3 billion. It is implemented in three phases that can be shortened to two phases for a period of five years. It extends over an area of 1,800,000 square meters, and consists of residential units accommodating 15,000 residents. In addition, 15,000 square meters will be allocated to offices, and 50,000 square meters to shopping centers. In addition to a number of high-end hotels, three of which are five-star, in addition to a car park that can accommodate about 5,000 cars. The center also includes a floor that includes restaurants, cafeterias, and other services. The project is divided into nine floors, two of which are underground for parking, and three floors for shops, the market. Four towers, each consisting of 33 floors. The project will help create job opportunities for more than 35,000 people. Laying the foundation stone for the Great Port of Al Fa project in Basra Governorate, southern Iraq. The project includes the construction of five container berths, the filling and handling of container depots, and the excavation of the inland navigation channel. It also includes excavation works, the construction of the external navigation channel, the Coral Zuber Canal Tunnel, and the highway linking the port of Fa and Um Kazer. It will create many job opportunities for the people of Basra and the rest of the provinces, and contribute to the development of Basra province. And Iraq will work to extend the oil pipeline Basra, Aqaba to reach Egypt. To be a new outlet for Iraqi oil exports to North Africa. And the possibility of its expansion to Egypt to be an important addition and a new outlet for Iraqi oil exports to North Africa. Iraq is working on investing the residential city of Al-Nikhil in Basra Governorate, 
making it a smart city, and setting up an investment refinery. It will become one of the cities designed by integrating industrial and commercial areas, service infrastructure and entertainment venues in a harmonious way. And providing it with very advanced technology to suit the requirements of modern life. The city of Al Nikhil is located on an area of 240 square kilometers in the shallow waters of Coral Zubair. The residential project will also contain a port and a high tech industrial zone, a business area, natural recreational areas, and an environmental reserve that are included for the first time within the basic designs of Iraqi cities. Bismaya New City Project is the first and largest development project in the history of Iraq, where the city of Basmaya is located to the southeast of the city of Baghdad and is about 10 km from the borders of the city of Baghdad. It covers an area of 1,830 hectares and can accommodate about 600,000 people. The total number of housing units is 100,000 units. A network of infrastructure, including electricity, water, and main streets, as well as public utilities that Iraq will develop, will also be established. It includes educational, religious, recreational and commercial facilities as well as water and sewage treatment plans. The new city of Bismaya will fill the lives of 600,000 Iraqis with happiness and will be one of the most distinguished cities in Iraq and the Middle East. And the first giant project for the National Housing Program. In your opinion, which of these projects do you consider the best for Iraq? And here we come to the end of the video, do not forget to subscribe to the channel and activate the bell button.